Alzheimer's disease biomarkers in the CSF are increasingly being used in the diagnostic evaluation of cognitive impairment, especially as disease-specific treatments such as targeted amyloid therapy are being administered in neurology clinics across the country, understanding the variations in AD CSF biomarker measures is now more critical than ever. Hello, I'm Dr. Wen Tao Li. I'm a behavioral neurologist at the South Sacramento Kaiser Permanente in Northern California and a research collaborator and former fellow at the Mayo Clinic. It is my pleasure to present a video review of a recent article titled Alzheimer's Disease CSF Biomarkers in a Tertiary Neurology Practice. As a brief background, as Alzheimer's disease progresses, CSF AB42 decreases and CSF phosphorylated tau and total tau increases. So that a low AB42 and an elevated T tau and T tau concentration in a CSF are consistent with the presence presence of AD pathology. In addition to the individual biomarkers, a ratio of P-tau and AB42 has been found to outperform the individual biomarkers to differentiate patients with symptomatic AD from controls. Interpretation of biomarker results become more challenging in real-life clinical settings, where cognitive impairment may be caused by one or more disorders, including dementia with Lewy bodies and frontal temporal dementia. Changes in CSF dynamics may also affect biomarker levels, so interpretation of test results need to be made with caution, particularly in the case of normal pressure hydrocephalus, which can cause progressive cognitive decline and can be seen in conjunction with AD. Our clinic looked at the distribution of AD biomarker results across a spectrum of clinical dementia diagnoses based on clinical consensus criteria. We also evaluated the impact of altered CSF dynamics, including clinical MPH, on AD biomarkers and correlated biomarker results with associated imaging findings. A total of 534 patients who underwent the Roche-Alexis assay were gathered over a one-year period from all three Mayo Clinic sites. 78% of patients came from a specialty behavioral neurology clinic and 22% from general neurology practice. The median age at CSF testing was 67 years, who reported median age duration of the disease was two years. The median level of education was 16 years, 47% of the patients were female, and the median cognitive test score based on the Kochman short test of mental status was 30, out of a maximum possible of 38. Each patient was given a single clinical diagnosis that best fit their history and symptoms and a clinical consensus criteria, rather than biomarker confirmation. This included Alzheimer's dementia, amnestic mild cognitive impairment, normal pressure hydrocephalus, dementia with Lewy bodies or DLB, the frontal temporal lobar degeneration spectrum of disorders, FTLD, and cortical basal syndrome, CBS, and non-degenerative causes of cognitive impairment. In our subsequent analysis, patients with uncategorized neurodegenerative syndromes or rapidly progressive dementias were excluded. Across the spectrum of neurocognitive disorders, 26% of patients had all normal biomarkers or non-Alzheimer's biomarkers. 46% had an abnormal P-tau AB42 ratio consistent with the presence of AD pathology. 19% had only an abnormal or low AB42 with a normal ratio, what we consider to be a discrepant test result and the remaining 9% had a normal ratio, but a mixture of abnormal biomarkers. As expected, the frequency of abnormal ratio was the highest in patients with clinical AD dementia. However, a notable portion of patients with non-AD syndromes, including 31% of DLD patients, 20% of FTLD patients, and 23% of CBS patients also had an abnormal ratio. This percentage is consistent with a frequency of AD copathology and pathology proven cases and brings the first key point, which is that a certain portion of patients with non-Alzheimer's syndromes will have comorbid Alzheimer's disease pathology and abnormal or positive AD CSF biomarkers. That interpretation of CSF results must occur in a setting and with consideration for the clinical presentation. Even in the context of a heterogeneous group of dementia syndromes, the clinical diagnosis is associated with the CSF biomarker profile results based on our chi-square test of independence. And an abnormal ratio 
as the highest association with Alzheimer's disease dementia. While a low or abnormal AB42 in the setting of a normal ratio has a strong association with normal pressure hydrocephalus rather than Alzheimer's disease. So in the right clinical context, MPH should be considered when only the AB42 level is abnormal. In fact, an abnormal ratio provides the best sensitivity and specificity in differentiating Alzheimer's disease from normal pressure hydrocephalus, whereas an isolated low AB42 only has a specificity of 37%. To take this further, when comparing Alzheimer's disease and MPH with other causes of dementia, including FDLD and non-degenerative etiologies, both AD and MPH patients can have low ab abnormal AB42 ratios with Alzheimer's disease patients having the lowest. MPH patients have low AB42 and the lowest P tau and T tau levels, which are technically in the normal ranges. By contrast, AD patients have the highest abnormal ratio, whereas MPH patients have normal ratios similar to FTLD and non-degenerative etiologies, leading us to conclude that when trying to diagnose Alzheimer's disease, an abnormal ratio can account for the presence of CSF dynamics disorders, whereas using AB42 levels alone may result in erroneous interpretations. Lastly, we looked at the associations between imaging features of CSF dynamics disorders and AD biomarker levels, using a combined group of MPH, Alzheimer's disease, and MCI patients. We found that the lower levels of individual biomarkers were associated with the presence of imaging features of altered CSF dynamics irrespective of clinical symptomatology. This includes an acute colossal angle, a tight high convexity, focally enlarged sulci, and enlarged sylvian fissures. However, the P tau to AB42 ratio does not change despite the changes in imaging features. Again, supporting our finding that the ratio compensates for changes to individual AD biomarkers caused by altered CSF dynamics. So in conclusion, reviewing the individual biomarkers as well as ratio offers complementary in information in medical decision-making. The interpretation of CSF biomarkers must occur in the context of the clinical presentation. And in a heterogeneous clinical population, abnormal P tau AB42 ratio has the strongest relationship to Alzheimer's disease type dementia. The frequency of abnormal ratio in non Alzheimer's disease neurodegenerative disorders may reflect the established frequency of Alzheimer's disease copathology. Normal ratio with a low abnormal AB42 level and low P tau and total tau was associated with the presence of altered CSF dynamics. But an abnormal P tau AB42 ratio compensates for this presence of a CSF dynamics disorder and can distinguish Alzheimer's disease dementia from MPH particularly as more disease-specific therapies become clinically available. These results highlight the utility of Alzheimer's disease CSF biomarker testing and aid in, in, in the interpretation of AD biomarkers in patients with suspected non-Alzheimer's causes of cognitive impairment. Thank you. We hope that you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mailclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com mail proceedings or journal updates on Facebook www.facebook.com mail clinic proceedings you can also follow us on X formerly known as Twitter available at mail proceedings more information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mailclinic.org this content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research, published by Elsevier Incorporated. All rights are reserved, including those for text and data mining, AI training, 
and similar technologies.